You're watching the Times Record News Football Show. Welcome to the final edition of the TRN Snap. I'm Zach Duncan. Joining me is Jonathan Holden. We're going to talk about our Red River Tween 2 teams uh, that come out in Christmas Day paper. Uh, you went with O.J. Clark as your MVP. It kind of seemed like he made the plays all year long. That wasn't too much of a pie. That's no. probably an easy pick. And, and, he, and he played both offense and defense, which at y'all at the 4A, 5A level is kind of, you know, kind of unheard of. Yeah, so. it, it really doesn't happen at the 5A level a whole lot. The, what really clinched it for me to give him the MVP, though, is whenever he blocked two field goals to help them win a playoff game. Against Lake Dallas. Against yeah. Lake Dallas. And it, when he did that, it, it was over. He was the MVP. I had no doubt about it. He was kind of the leading candidate going into he, that. He had 1,000 yards receiving. I yeah. mean, he big plays on offense, big plays on special teams, big plays on defense. All uh, over the place. And small small guy yeah. making just unbelievable And he was plays. the defensive player of the year in the Red River 22 last, last season. Year, yeah. And he didn't have an interception this year as a cornerback. A lot of people look at that. He still had double-digit pass breakups. He had double-digit tackles for loss as Which a is corner. Pretty pretty rare yeah he just plays hard that guy is full effort all the time it's amazing he had votes for district MVP of that district Mark Bendel at Ryder voted him MVP of the district it, it's he, he's the he's the leading there's no doubt I don't think there was any Easy question the offensive it. player of the yeah. year too Cedric Battle his yeah. historic 30 touchdown 2600 yard campaign when you're uh, the AP class 4a offensive player, player yeah. of the year in the state you kind of have call. to give him that too here yeah 2400 yards is what he ends up with or 2600, yeah 2600 yeah. yards 2400 in regular season 2600 and you know he counted for over 200 points yeah and defensively that's probably your toughest decision a it, lot of good was. talk about all your defensive good defensive candidates you went with uh, Dustin McWhorter the Graham defensive end who helped them get to the semis but you had a lot of guys to choose from on that. yeah Garen Nash was definitely in the conversation at old high he had a lot of sacks and tackles for loss same thing about Deshaun Harley at Hershey. Only played seven games, but led the area in tackles 15, for loss and sacks. sacks. And Landon Gonzalez to Graham, right. the way he Which, finished up four interceptions in the last two yeah. playoff games uh, was pretty, you know, he kind of threw his name there. In That's there, right. So. But, but Warder, we, we wanted to give Graham the honor. It felt like they were the best defense in the area. Mm -hmm. And Mick Warder's the top player that, that we felt. Even talking to Coach Davidson, felt like that was the guy that was the biggest difference maker on their defense. Quarterback was hard to choose. Quarterback was very tough to choose between but Eric Butler and uh, Desmond Jackson and uh, Landry Turner from Graham. When would Landry Turner from Graham? But Andy Newberry is going to be weighing in with the column on that one. That's that was such a got, tough choice. And you got Weston Swinson on for IP yeah, as right. a utility player because he meant so he was the heart and soul of that team. So yeah. we, the problem is, is you can't stick any of those guys on defense at that level. No. They all only play offense, and you only got one quarterback spot. Yeah. But a lot of good quarterback efforts. Yeah, there was, and it made a tough decision. Look for that list in the December 25th Christmas Day paper. We'll come back and we'll talk about the small school team. <laughs> 